Hey guys, welcome back to The Pin Man. I'm Mike West. And thus far, I have made some videos. Uh, one on how to clean your fountain pen, and then another one on how to ink up your fountain pen or fill your fountain pen. Those two uh, maintenance steps, if you will, are a necessary function in uh, fountain pen ownership. What I want to share with you today may or may not be necessary, and that is the, uh, the maintenance function of polishing your nib or smoothing your fountain nib. Now, most of fountain pen manufacturers are either going to produce their own nibs or they will buy their nibs, <clears throat> have their nibs specially made through uh, Yovo, a German uh, company, and also Bach. There may be some other uh, nib manufacturing companies, but those are probably two of the, the biggest. Schmidt would be one as well. And most of the time, your nibs are going to be fine. But from time to time, you may have to smooth out your nibs. How do you do that? Well, first of all, you need to check the, the alignment of your tines, the tines on your nib. As you, as you know, and I will uh, try to show some, some pictures of this. This video isn't about balancing your uh, or fixing your uh, misaligned nibs. That, that really is something that you should tread lightly with, but it can be done. Basically, you want to make sure if you're looking head on at your nib, here's the two sides of your nib. You want to make sure that the tip of, of your nib, the two tines, are right together like this. If they're separated a, a tad bit, that's okay, but they should be even this way. If they're off a little bit as you're riding along, it's going to be scratchy. So that would be the first thing to check and how you check is get either a loop or a very strong magnifying glass that you're going to be able to see the tip of that nib. Now with that done, now you can polish or smooth your nib. How much smoothing or polishing is necessary is totally up to you. Some people like uh, more feedback, a little rougher. They want to feel themselves writing on the paper more. Uh, other people like more of what in the pen world we talk about buttery smooth uh, feel. And of course, a lot of, a lot of that has uh, depends on the paper that you're using as well. But if you're looking for smoothness, your tines are aligned properly and you just don't really like as much feedback as you're getting, I want to show you how to polish your nib. Now, here's a caution to be careful when polishing your nib that you don't polish it too much. And again, check that alignment first, because if you try to polish the nib with it out of alignment, you're going to get one time uh, more polished or smooth or ground down, not really ground, but kind of that effect, then you will the other. And so when then when you get them aligned, it's still going to be, you're going to have problems. So always make sure your nib is aligned first. The extent at which you polish your nib should be as little as necessary. And what I'm going to show you today is what I always do is the process I take with, with every nib that I feel like I need to smooth it out just a, just a little more. All right, so thanks for tuning in. If you have maybe a link to another video that you think would be helpful, I know some other uh, places like Goulet pens, jet pens, and so forth, and other people have done 
uh, videos on this and I will put those videos also in my playlist so make sure when you're when you finish watching this video that you check out some of those other videos because I think they will be helpful to you remember the more information you have the more power you have in the fountain pen world <laughs> okay so let's move to the the demonstration all right folks as i mentioned uh, previously with every fountain pen there's a couple of things that you will have to do one of them is clean your pen you will have to clean your pen you don't have to do it every time you uh, refill the pen if you're using the same ink but you will have to eventually clean the pen even if you're using the same ink after say a month of refilling a couple of months whatnot you want you want to clean your pen so i showed you how to do that i've also showed you how to uh, fill your pen and today we're going to talk about smoothing or polishing your nib because quite frankly sometimes you'll buy a pen even a, a nice pen there's even been a gold nib pen that I bought one time, Platinum 3776. I don't know about the rest of the Platinum, but that 3776, it's a gold nib. And it just was so scratchy. It was a medium even. So anyway, uh, story for another time. But all that to say is you can buy a nice nib or a nice pen that has a good reputation for the nibs and all that and it still is not right so what do you do about it when when you have that scratchy feeling you're gonna you're gonna smooth it now as i mentioned earlier first of all you have to look at the tines and so you have to look head on there and make sure that the tip is is right how do you do that? You get a you get a loop for one. So here's here's a piece of equipment that will uh, do you well, and that is a loop or a magnifying glass of some sort. Now I got this a long time ago, and it came in this box. Here it is. It's a watch repair magnifying uh, glasses. I guess you could call them. And what's cool about these is that each one of the sections you can you can snap on and off. But all you all you're going to do is look down through there, and I don't know if this is if I can make this work. This also has a little light that you can turn on, so you can kind of see see my nibs there, my the the tip of my nib and it is the tines the tines are fine all right whoo enough of that all right so what do you do you get a loop and then you get this handy dandy kit now i bought mine from goulet and it it didn't come with a with the mesh okay the micro mesh here it came with these two let's see what's it called mylar mylar paper so you get one each of those now i do this with any nib that i have found that is giving me problems i just do the whole rigmarole okay it also came with these brass sheets and what these are for are taking or cleaning out this little slit here from the breather hole and you just stick it down in there and do it that way and that way you can get out some some gunk that might have built up over time and you do it on the back you can do it on the back side as well get that in there so there's that all right now this is the way I do it. Other people may do it differently and that's fine. Here are, I have, I have an 
little piece of 8,000 uh, grit micro mesh and 12,000 grit micro mesh. Now some, some people may differ, I don't, I don't know. That's fine. And then I've numbered. You're going you're gonna to start with the lower number, the smallest number because it's the highest grit. And then just think of it as there's 8,000 pieces in the same area that there's 12,000 pieces of grit in that. It's not like regular sandpaper, but at that, and I use these to polish my, my pins when I'm making. So I do circles. I do 20 and then I rock my nib back and forth as I'm doing those circles. I will do 20 counterclockwise. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I'll do them count, or clockwise. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, I'm count, probably counting faster than I'm actually <laughs> making my circles, but you get the idea. And then I go like this. I just run like that, okay? All right, and then I'll do some lines like this, up and down, back and forth. Now, what I also do, and it's up to you if you wanna do this, but I also do it, flip it over, because I like to be able, if I need to reverse right, I do that. Um, I want to be able to reverse right with as little feedback as possible. So you got the 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20. And then you're basically doing the same thing. Up and down, side to side, rock it a little bit. It, it catches a little more like this. So when you're doing the reverse side, you want to be a little, little more careful. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's what you do there. And then you just keep doing it. And then you do the same thing here. I numbered them one and one and two. So I always remember, and I did the same thing on these. Um, one and two, that's not, that's not an eight, except for a figure eight that I was <laughs> doing. Uh, some people do figure eights, whatever. Uh, so one and two there, and then one and two. And so I go through the same process on these Mylar sheets as well. And then once you're done, you have a polished nib. And it should be writing smoother at that point. Okay? That, my friends, is how you smooth or you polish your nib. And you don't have to do that very often in fact once you once you've done it once you shouldn't have to ever do it again if anything is just cleaning it and maybe taking one of these uh, brass sheets and cleaning out the tines uh, it would be good from time to time uh, depending on how much how how much you use a particular pen but maybe every couple of years because ink will build up in, in the little uh, slit there. And so, and it'll dry and so forth. Sometimes when you're cleaning it, uh, it doesn't come out. So uh, maybe when you clean it, you know, you can take the brass shim, I guess what they call it, a little brass shim and uh, clean out between there as well. Okay, that's all there is to it. Hey, I want to thank you for taking time in your busy day to tune in to The Pin Man and to check out this, this review. And I encourage you to leave comments below that might not only help me to do a better job in reviewing uh, pins and pin related projects, but especially to help other viewers uh, to know more about these products because Maybe you have bought the pen based on my review or some others' reviews, and you have your own two cents 
to, uh, to throw in there. Hey, we're all just trying to help each other out. So thanks again. And again, be sure to All right, and check out a couple of these other uh, videos that um, might be of interest to you. I hope so. All right, thank you and have a great day.